and ultimately the only answer that really works. Now that sounds nice, but what does that actually mean in practice? Well, one thing that I'm confident that it does mean is that we have to be, we have to honor Jesus in the way we use our, our money and our financial resources. Last week, gospel reading was the parable of the talents. And we learned from that parable, among other things, that even back in Bible times, money was a big deal. Now, if that was true of Palestine of 2,000 years ago, how much more true is that today in our own modern, affluent consumer society that tries to put a dollar value on just about everything? So in our highly monetized culture and society, if we're, how can we hope to have the kind of relationship with Jesus that we need and want if we're not faithful but stewards of the financial resources that have been trusted to us? So I want to suggest that as we go into 2020, that we be courageous and faithful stewards. And I think that's particularly important in the time of COVID when financial stewardship is one of the main ways that we can all participate in the life of the church. And that's particularly important when holy apostles like so many families and businesses faces financial challenges that are related to pandemic. So we know from the gospels that love means giving. For God so loved the world that he did what? He gave his only begotten son. And we know from the gospels that perfect love drives out fear. So let's confront 2021 unafraid and full of love by prayerfully responding to this year's stewardship challenge. Thank you very much.